Hey yo, what's up guys? This is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Okay, so let's continue our discussion on our fire protection. Okay, on, on my last exercise, what I did is I have created or I have added the sprinkler heads. Okay, so this time I'm going to teach you how to add or how to model your main pipes. Alright? Okay, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you first how to create another type of pipe okay so let's say i'm going to use here the standard type of pipe so from the systems tab i'm going to select here the pipe tool okay and then as you can see by default i only have here chilled water and standard so i'm going to use the standard and then i'm going to select your edit type so what i'm going to do is i want to create another type of this pipe so i'm going to select your duplicate and then I'm going to call this uh, threaded, okay, so threaded pipe. All right. So I select here, okay. And then after that, after I create this type, so what I'm going to do is from the segments and fittings, so I'm going to select edit here for my routing preferences. And then by selecting this one, you'll be able to see here the default uh, contents for your pipe segment. Uh, elbow, etc., etc., for your pipe type. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this. So, let's say, for example, for the pipe segment, instead of copper A, I'm gonna use here uh, carbon steel schedule 40. So, I go ahead and select this one, and then for the minimum size, the minimum is 15 mm. So, let's say I'm going to increase this one. So, let's say I select uh, until 600. Okay, so that's the range of my pipe. Now, for these elbows, as you can see, generic uh, fittings are loaded here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to load a bunch of families here. I'm going to use the default family fittings. Okay, so I select load family. Okay, and then I'm going to look for pipe. Open that pipe. And then there's the fittings. Now I'm going to open the malleable iron. Just make sure if you install your Revit, make sure all the families are there. Okay, you can refer to autodesk.com to check out how to install properly your, your Revit. Okay, and again, don't forget to like my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my webs. I mean the blog site, learningwithrich.wordpress.com. So from there... If you want to get the exercise file, all you have to do is to buy me a drink. Okay, so going back, so I select your class 150. So there's the threaded. Open that one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to load all of this. So I'm going to press Control A. Control A to select all the families. Okay, and then I'm going to open this one to load it here so the reason why i'm loading all of these families i'm going to change the settings of my uh content here so for the elbow i click this one drop down so i select here threaded if you want welded so there you go it's already loaded here so i'm going to select threaded prefer junction type so i prefer t now for the junction i just select threaded mi okay cross is threaded MI transition threaded MI union threaded MI flange no need for the cup here threaded MI there you go so that's how you change the content of your uh, pipe type okay so I just go ahead and select your OK and then I select your OK there you go now to create the pipe the main pipe so aside from the type of pipe here so make sure you also change the system type okay so since we are on the fire protection so let's say i'll just select let me just go ahead and select modify for the meantime and then select this one okay so this is wet so based on the connector of this sprinkler this is actually a wet so i'm going to select five a pipe threaded system type okay i'll go ahead and select fire protection wet <coughs> okay 
Right, so let's go ahead and start. So for the diameter, I'm going to use 150 mm. So as you can see, by the way, if you click the drop down arrow, you can see that the minimum here is 15 mm, the maximum is 600 mm. That's because we change it from here, right? Remember, there you go. So if you only want to select, let's say 15 mm and 200, so you can select here 200 as a maximum size, okay? So what will happen is you can all see you can only select here 15 mm until 200 if that's what you want. Okay. Anyway, I'll go ahead and select 150 mm here. Okay, and then let me just start here. I'll just use 200 uh, 2750 as the height of my pipe or the offset height. So I'll just go ahead and select from here. Okay, and then let's see. I'll just pick somewhere here. There you go, and then I'm going to pick somewhere here. There you go, and then I select modify. So let me just go ahead and turn off the thin lines to show the thickness of my pipe here. Okay, the reason why the pipe is showing as a single line is because of your detail level. Okay, you can change that later on to pipe if you want to see the 2D, the 3D, the 3D view of your pipe. Now. I want to place another pipe here so what I'm gonna do is you see this fitting here so I'm gonna select this one and then I select this okay you click the plus sign so it will allows you to uh, change the elbow to T fittings <coughs> all right so I select the T fittings you see the uh, connector so you just right click that one and then you select uh, draw pipe you click this there you go all right okay and then i'll just uh, approximate somewhere here all right and then i'm going to place it along here there you go one good thing about the new version of revit actually this is not a new feature but before we used to place our end cap manually to our pipe but in the newer versions of revit all you have to do is to select the pipe and then you just select open cap, uh, cap open ends. Click, just click that one. There you go. It's very cool, right? It will allows you to automatically place the uh, end cap, right? How good is that? Okay, so after you create the pipe, okay, so you can also check that in the 3D view, or probably what you can do is you select the whole thing. Don't worry even if you do not select the architectural model. So after you select that, you select selection box here. Alright, so this is how it looks like. Okay. And then after that, don't forget to change the detail level to fine. There you go. Oop. Right. You can also change the visual style let's say to realistic there you go let me just turn on the thin lines see how it's how the rabbit plays the end cap all right okay so this is how it looks like okay all right so that's our model now going back to my ceiling plan so let me just go ahead and change this to fine so this is now how it looks like okay you may want to go to the visibility graphic overrides. You go to filters. Then you can add the filter here if you want. You can add the fire protection. But as you can see, there is no fire protection system here. So it's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll just cancel this one. I'll just cancel this one. I'm going to expand the families here. And then look for the piping systems. Expand the piping systems. Okay, I already created exercise on how to create piping systems. You can just refer to that exercise. So what I want to do is I want to change my fire protection wet, which is this one, this pipe here. Okay, so I want to ch I, I'm going to modify this. I'm going to double click, double click that, and graphic overrides. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and add the color here. Let's say I add red. Okay and then okay 
there you go, then just okay. There you go, right? Okay, so 3D view, there you go. So you see, it's colored red. So you, you can change that to shaded view or uh, hidden line. So you can see now your pipe there, okay? There you go. So it's not that difficult to create your pipe, okay? So that's how you load family in your uh, routing preferences. And then that's how you create your uh, main pipe, okay? On my next exercise, I'm going to show you how to model your branch lines to complete our fire protection exercise, okay? So once again, <coughs> this is uh, Rich. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions, you can put it in the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can, okay? And again, please don't ask me to create models for you, all right? So you just need to watch my model or my exercise and then from there you try to improve yourself. You try to explore more, okay? The most important here is you're learning the basic, how to do your Revit, all right? So that's it for this exercise. Thank you for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And you always take care, all right? Bye.